Good afternoon to everybody. Um, welcome to our webinar. My name is Nenad Filipovic. I'm a professor at IDC Blatt School of Management and head of executive education. And I'm also involved heavily with the uh, executive MBA, uh, teaching a few courses and also leading the projects there. And I'm extremely happy that uh, along with my colleagues, Sandra and Vera, who will be with us on the call and answer questions, uh, we have two guests today, uh, Nina Stupan and Sandra Zolko, our MBA alumni. Um, and uh, the whole idea is that we go through a couple of introductory uh, notes and then uh, a conversation with uh, Nina and Sandro as witnesses, how it feels like being in the MBA. And also after graduation, what happens to people? Because uh, it's always interesting to see whether MBA did make any impact uh, on you as people and, and business people. So uh, let me share just a, a set a couple of uh, uh, slides first. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. No, I'm not sure that that went properly. No, yes, now it will go. I hope you can see it. And uh, the um, and we will just uh, show uh, a short video, and then afterwards I will start uh, the conversation with uh, with my colleagues. Uh, so I hope this will work. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not, I'm, I have to do something differently. So, okay, hopefully now it will work. We don't focus only on knowledge, we much more focus on skills and attitudes of people. That requires energy, that requires uh, focus of the topics uh, we talk about. And in this program we got energy from the participants, we cover the topics which stretch them, which makes them occasionally uncomfortable, but allow them to perform better once they come back to the organization. What you will definitely agree is that great sales forces are never born. A great sales force is the result of managers making conscious choices for a long period of time in a way which is steady and consistent with the strategy of the organization. It's all about learning from companies around the world that have achieved sustainability in their project, 
based on their ability not only to attract new customers, but also to create, develop, and maintain profitable relations with the customers they already have, and also with the ones they attract. So, uh, without spending much uh, more time on the introduction, you have seen a few notes about the school and um, on top of it, just a few things about the MBA as a modular program, uh, 17 weeks all together in two formats, two or three year format. And um, more about the experience from the MBA with, with my colleagues. So Nina and Sandro, once again, hello and uh, thank you for joining. And uh, a question for first Nina and, uh, and then also Sandro. Uh, Nina, when you joined, you already were an established person, a uh, business person, but uh, a professional one, a um, legal profession. It's somehow kind of uh, not very usual that l people with strong professional background think in broader business terms, uh, wanting an MBA. Why did you decide to jo join the MBA? Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, as you mentioned, I I was uh, I graduated as a lawyer and I was working as a, an attorney. But then, when I started working at my that time employee, I realized that to get better to the life or to the work, what I'm doing, I need to know also other no i need to get some other experiences and knowledges which i didn't get on my primary university so when i was discussing with people on the market uh, i got really good recommendations of the school and i was considering that this might be the answer for me to develop also and in on that areas of uh, of some of my business you know i needed that for my business for further business yeah that's why mm -hmm. And then Sandro, similar question to you, but from a different perspective, you're an entrepreneur. Again, there is a bit of a prejudice that entrepreneurs are too busy and uh, they just follow their dreams. And, and what the hell would an uh, entrepreneur do with an MBA program? So why joining? Thank you, Nenad. Okay, I, I have been learning uh, all my life and uh, I wanted to always to make uh, steps forward. So I'm an electrical engineer and last uh, 15 years I, I'm leading my company and uh, try, uh, trying to find the right way to, to, uh, to uh, move that company in next stage, next position. So I'm always asking myself, uh, am I, uh, uh, do I have enough knowledge to lead the company into the future? So uh, I uh, finished my uh, uh, two leadership, but uh, my, uh, my I, I, it's not dream, but uh, my uh, desire was uh, to go to MBA, but I have a large family, I have uh, uh, companies in two uh, countries and it was impossible. There, there was uh, no good moment for uh, uh, to enroll that uh, uh, study. So uh, we, I had, we had, or all of us uh, had the Corona situation. And during the Corona situation, uh, two months or three months, I, I, I was in my hometown in Mostar and I thought about uh, some, uh, some uh, situations which I uh, had to uh, make, uh, make a move, move but I, I, I didn't uh, do that because it was not perfect situation. And I figured out that uh, there is no perfect situation and there is no situation in which uh, you are going to solve all your problems 
and everything will fit to you. And uh, so I, uh, during that Corona, I decided to go to MBA. And it was, yes, it was uh, like an uh, uh, intuitive decision. And uh, I, I uh, call uh, our principal, uh, Ms. Danica, and I ask her to, to, in, to meet her. And after I came to her uh, office and I, I have seen the beautiful view and uh, that uh, school, I decided uh, I want to be there. That's it. And, and by the way, for both of you, uh, another question, and maybe starting with Sandra first, uh, you said two companies and a large family. Um, and uh, of course, you were initially committed to join, but how did you manage to balance? Because a lot of people are afraid that uh, joining uh, an intense program, 17 weeks altogether, uh, residence in Bled in, in different modules, two or three weeks module, but still that it's a lot of time. How, how did you manage? Uh, to be away from your business for such a long time is i mean is it doable obviously it is but what's your secret uh, it was very difficult uh, i have to be honest and a uh, lot of uh, uh, my closest uh, uh, my family and my closest uh, associates uh, uh, made a lot of efforts to 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 be with me in that situation. So it was tough, it was difficult, but uh, uh, I, 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 but it, it, it was not uh, so tough when you put uh, on the paper all uh, problems which you have uh, to, to, to solve in, in, uh, in uh, uh, that uh, two years, but uh, it was manage manageable. But uh, I, I, I really uh, had a very good uh, res and respect, uh, very good cooperation with associates and a very good understanding with my family and my daughters. And uh, it was. So it worked. Yeah. yeah. Nina, what was the biggest challenge for you during the studies? Uh, for sure, is this uh, balance, you know, between work, family and uh, obligations you have towards the studies. So it really, you need to push yourself over, sometimes you really need to push over the limits because, you know, the kids need you. And we, of, of course, we had all uh, really challenging work and you need to be available and you need to have a hand on. I was at the time a director of a business unit, which was doing re really good. And you need, to, so you need some basis, you know, which functions uh, and then, then it goes, yeah, of course. But mm -hmm. yeah, it is, as uh, Sandra said, the, the, it's challenging uh, time and you need to be uh, mentally ready, you know, to go through it. So if you mean, if you think that it's easy, we'll do it. No, you need to be prepared and you need to prepare yourself for that, that you will work hard for two years or I don't know if you decide for one year or three years, you need, you need to know that you will invest two years you you expect that you'll gain a lot and that's the effort that you're looking for at the end and yeah that's um, how it goes and then classmates uh, any support from them uh in the uh, classmates of course always you know if you don't have a great classmates then it's like really really not uh, really lousy but yeah i have to say that we were really a good class and we still have you know a lot of contacts and uh yeah, of course, also classmates, yeah. family, yeah. work, right. everything. <laughs> so I think uh, this this uh, makes the pain uh, much less uh, when you have a good company. <laughs> sure, sure. Of course, that's something that gives it keeps the motivation up. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, Nina, when you look back at, uh, at the time at Bled, uh, what stays? What are the things that you remember as uh, kind of nice, interesting, worth? Uh, first of all, as I said, it's a period when you you need to push a lot of times over uh, over the limits you have, you know, and um, it, with the time distance you forget it, but you still know that you were able to do it, you know, that you are now prepared for all kind of situations. Because, you know, you put us, you also professor faculties, you put us through, you know, sometimes it was really hard working late hours. And also, as you, as previously mentioned, having really uh, business challenges also. Uh, so, uh, but then uh, for me, 
are these friendships we made, you know, also with you faculties. I think that we, uh, I still respect all the faculties. I always like to meet you. And of course the colleagues, you know, the, the friendships we have made there, uh, we hear each other often, we offer support and help. So you get a community and this community is also something that uh, that is really valuable, you know. And uh, I don't know how it's for Sandro, but you get connections to the um, generations before yours and after yours, you know, you meet at some point or even if you know, if he was like for someone who was few years before on the uh, on the university as you on business school uh, as you were you just say oh so we went together to the same program and it's easier you know to to have this uh, ice breaking uh, conversation and maybe conclude some business or so uh, everything uh, a lot of actually a lot of excellent memories and i would gladly do it uh, one more time <laughs> <laughs> he is smiling uh, sandra if you look uh, i can imagine you enjoyed it also you were a little bit later than than nina in the program so memories are still more fresh uh, from uh, from the content uh, what was value most valuable for for you in terms of learning uh... In terms of learning, I uh, wrote diary of how I felt mm -hmm. all the time. And uh, this morning, I look at that uh, uh, diary and I, I look at uh, a lot of uncomfortable uh, situations. Uh, 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 and uh, I, uh, uh, in which uh, was I. So, um, uh, I figure out that uh, the the key learnings are in leadership, because uh, during the study, especially in the uh, last part when we had uh, uh, group uh, work, and uh, uh, we had six amazing uh, persons in our group, and uh, uh, that persons who are leaders in their companies who who are uh, in charge of, who are in C-level in their companies. And you have to, uh, you have to uh, manage yourself in that situation when you have to, I don't know, when you have to report to some task to some, your colleague, and you, when you have to uh, uh, be supportive to your colleague who is, uh, uh, who is uh, who is under on, on under on pressure, and uh, I I I think the key learning learning beside uh, uh, all uh, courses we, which we had uh, it, it was about leadership about it uh, uh, about uh, learning about myself also and uh, see how. Um, can I uh, manage better in stressful situation? I think the the the, the key thing uh, key uh, uh, key thing that uh, I had from Bled is I'm much more calm in uncomfortable in in the in the stressful situation. Uh, beside that, I have to say that finance because I'm an electrical engineer, <laughs> finance and accounting are the key benefits for me, really. Mm -hmm. uh, the experience, the group experience Sandra was referring to was uh, working on the MBA projects uh, where we give real life companies uh, to teams and uh, each team works for one company solving a problem. Uh, uh, Nina, you were so happy with your project that when you came back to your company, you actually organized the next year the project for your company. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, uh, what made you so enthusiastic about the project? Well, I think that this, you know, the projects you were the mentor, of course, and probably yeah. remember is the, 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 the learning curve you go through it and how much knowledge you get from, uh, as Sandra mentioned, you're working with leaders, working on different area, and when then we then they, we are grouped in one group and working on one problem each with uh, his own point of view you really get an excellent product you know when i look our product yet i, I was looking and said oh my god did we do that this is still so you know it's amazing. really yeah. amazing really it was i still admire what what we did and you know uh, and that's why i wanted for my company back there when they were struggling with some issues to get 
a good material on an issue, we needed an, uh, a solution or just a proposal of solution. So yeah, it's it's really good. And I think that's, yeah, it was a great experience. Yeah. Uh, both Nina, both sides, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nina, in the meantime, uh, you decided uh, to change your career. Uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, making that move and and now uh, afterwards, uh, what do you see as the biggest benefits uh, coming out of the MBA program that allow you now to do what you do? I think that the biggest benefit when you previously ask uh, what, what are the major takeaways is like when you go through a program in Blade, you really um, get in contact with a lot of knowledge, you know, different disciplines. And mm -hmm. as we started the conversation, I was being a lawyer, of course, and then I got all this knowledge. Of course, you learn a lot when you work in your, in your work position, but then you get this uh, institu institu institutionalized knowledge uh, over that, you know, and you get confident, you know, you, after this program and after everything you did at one point, you just get confident that you're, you're capable of doing everything you wish for, uh, or you want to achieve in your life. And additional thing is, which was really important is the critical thinking, you know, we were talking a lot about critical thinking, not just about your working environment, also, uh, how you respond in certain environment, what do you wish of life, you know, and that was probably the, the biggest takeaway for me, you know, confidence and critical thinking, which made me, you know, uh, uh, to this point when I considered where should I go for where, where can I develop most where can I find new challenges because you know life is also about challenges which are pushing you to develop constantly and uh yeah that was and I'm I'm you know and then I was asking myself why didn't I do that sooner you know because <laughs> but yeah I didn't have that confidence the program gave me this confidence and and I I'm just thankful for that you know really right. Right. By the way, this is uh, what you said, if I may comment very briefly, uh, this is also one of the reasons why we don't encourage very young people to join the MBA, because we think that a certain uh, level of maturity allows people to take out of the program, not, I mean, uh, the kind of experience and the healthy self-confidence. Uh, a better ability to really know where you are stronger and what can do and, and so on, and, and then make moves as, as one wants. So, yeah. Sandro, you stayed. I mean, you obviously stayed in your own companies. Uh, how's the business? Uh, my business is uh, better and better every year. And uh, uh, I have to say that uh, I, I believe that uh, everything happens in moment which had to happen. So uh, Professor Alert uh, told me one time when I came to him and asked some question, he told me, Zovko, you are executive, do not go to details. And it was a very important lessons for me. Because of that, I uh, changed my perspective. And uh, uh, I try to go as much as possible to helicopter view position and uh, to, to not to go to details because I, I have to say again, I'm electrical engineers and we, we go to details and uh, that's, that's the main problem uh, of, uh, uh, of us. And uh, uh, why I uh, uh, telling you that story? Because I had one very difficult situation during my study. It was in, uh, during uh, second year. Uh, my colleague uh, in Zagreb, uh, he, uh, uh, he uh, established company uh, 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 during uh, his work and uh, took uh, um, 15 uh, clients uh, because I, I, I was not uh, there and I, it was blitzkrieg. And, uh, I uh, I uh, told myself go to helicopter view, and uh, it was a very very good uh, moment because I, I I was not too much on the stress, and uh, I uh, I I uh, I did amazing things because even though they uh, the, uh, very important fifteen clients left us. 
we made progress uh, in revenue uh, by 40 percent so uh, it, it was really amazing and uh, i think uh, i think if if uh, if i didn't uh, say that uh, that uh, sentence every day to myself and uh, say okay there is a huge ocean uh, it, it uh, what is the problem if, if you have some storm in one part of your ocean? Uh, uh, there is a lot of uh, good uh, places in, in your ocean. And uh, I, I, I think uh, it, it was uh, amazing, amazing situation for us. In Bosnia and Herzegovina, we also uh, make uh, uh, impact, uh, make a good uh, impact and uh, uh, we grow also, but Croatia was an amazing uh, thing for us. Thank you, Sandra, and, and of course, congratulations and good, good luck uh, for the future. Uh, last question for both of you, and uh, you know, I'm not, uh, I don't see myself as a salesperson by vocation, I'm, I am a professor and I sell occasionally, but I do it more on a relational level. So if I would ask you to help me and give me uh, one sentence uh, to convince people who maybe still hesitate uh, joining the MBA, what would be that sentence? Why should somebody, in your opinion, join our MBA? Uh, the first sentence, if I may start, Sandro, is for me, it's a, a life-changing experience, maybe. Uh, as you mentioned previously, yeah, you should be on a certain level of maturity, but uh, the program is designed s s so in, in a matter that uh, pushes you to, to, to change yourself, you know, uh, and which is good, you know, because in, in lifetime we need to evolve and to learn new stuff and cha uh, challenge ourselves and yeah, life changing experience, maybe that would be the one sentence with, 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 with which I would sell. <laughs> Thank you. Nina. I'm not a salesperson, also. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, no, that, that's why I ask for very genuine, authentic, uh, uh, ex let's say, formulation. By the way, I, I think, uh, thank you, Nina, for noticing it. It was really our our challenge uh, when we designed the program, and it's, it keeps uh, challenging because the average age, um, around 36, 10 years of business experience of people com coming into the program. So influencing people at that level of maturity to do to change themselves uh, is not that easy. Uh, it's kind of a well designed, I think. Uh, but yeah, hopefully it also helps. Sandro, what would be your advice? Uh, you will change your perspective and change yourself. Uh, we live in a period when everything is changing very rapidly. MBA will. Uh, change you to the on the better uh, and uh, you will be leader uh, who is uh, very necessary for your organization in uh, next period which will be going to be very uh, challenging thank you very much and i i do agree by the way uh, i am teaching also change management and i fully agree with what you said it it is uh, something which never ends and uh, with all the new things around us, I'm, I was just these days uh, asked by a major bank to draft uh, mega trends for them and, and the impact on them. And uh, when I look at how much, how intense, uh, how much uh, diverse things are happening around us and influencing our businesses and how, much, how, how intense this, it, this uh, impact is, I think uh, being ready for that, uh, as you said, having some those of knowledge, uh, those of self-confidence and those of ability to work with other people because no one can do everything on our own, uh, which all of that is a benefit of the, from the MBA. I think it helps. Thank you both. Uh, can I please ask you to stay on the line and um, back to Vera and Sandra uh, and questions for our participants um, uh, in, the, in the webinar. If any questions... Um, please uh, feel free to ask. Um, Maybe also... if I can just add some um, yes, basic... Sandra, I, yes, I joining the program and uh, so please... Uh, yes, about the admissions. Why... So every candidate has to meet some admission criteria some and that is... Some... Some uh, can you hear me? 
Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. Um, so basically every participant uh, needs to meet some admission criteria and that is at least uh, uh, of three years of relevant working experience. Then, uh, of course, uh, all our lectures are in, held in English, so also the communication in English has to be proven. Um, that is um, every candidate when uh, uh, we receive the full application package, so application form and two letters of recommendations, then we invite all participants for admission interview. This is usually uh, admission interview is going on with uh, one of faculty members and there uh, the communication in English is uh, tested. So um, then when once the admission criteria is uh, is done and all the applications are uh, are collected uh, we then um, send official letter of acceptance to each candidate then we start with the, the all the preparations that every candidate has to he has to find uh, accommodation and all the logistic things so that is why we um, we encourage every participant to to do this before October 31st, so that there is enough time to prepare them themselves for the next step in their career. Uh, that is one thing. Uh, also, um, if we can move on, Vera, with the next slide. Um, regarding the uh, scholarships, we have um, on the 9th and 10th September, there will be opportunity to win a scholarship. This is called IDC Individual Case Study Competition. Um, basically, this is a real case that uh, candidate, uh, first, you need to apply for this uh, competition. Uh, the deadline is September 8th. And then on the 9th in the morning, you receive a case which has to be done, uh, you mean you need to submit your solution in 48 hours. This is like it is done in the study. So in the second year of your study, um, then the, the committee will meet, uh, um, so check all the solutions and we will announce the winners. There is opportunity to win, uh, so three scholarships will be awarded. One is 50% uh, of the fee, then uh, 30 and 25. So maybe this is a good uh, opportunity to win this. Also, there are a second opportunity for the scholarships, and that is through our uh, alumni clubs. We have 16 alumni clubs in different countries, and there are two scholarships available. So if you are interested, uh, you can just drop me an email or uh, through our website. Uh, for the case study competition, you can apply which, uh, through the link, which is uh, on our uh, presentation or just contact me and I will give you all the instructions. Thank you, Sandra. Um, and um, I'm sure everybody who was uh, registered uh, for the this webinar will receive the yes, presentation. Yes, of course. The day. Yeah. So mm -hmm. th thank you. Thank you both. Any questions from the audience? If not, uh, thank you all for the participation, Sandra and uh, Sa Sandra. Sorry, Sandra and Nina. <laughs> Sandra, Sandra and Nina. We have another Sandra, you know. So I got confused. Sandra and Nina, and uh, I hope to see the two of you. Of course, uh, have a coffee with you soon in Bled uh, when you're around. Um, call. And uh, and uh, as regards uh, the potential candidates, if there will be any further questions from your side, please contact our office, contact also myself. I will be glad to explain anything that might interest you. So thank you all very much. Have a nice day.